century, six hours later, and the scene of this deadly officer-involved shooting is finally clear. Investigators say using deadly force is the last thing they ever want to do. It just felt like I'm living in Compton. The deadly officer-involved shooting left Westwood traumatized. This is the first time seeing it. It was scary. First, officers got 911 calls about a drunk man waving a gun at people. While investigators were in the area, they say a short time later, the man slammed his truck into this pole on Boudinot and Harrison. I called 911 back and told him that uh, he was leaving the scene. And about that time, a cop car pulled up right here by his truck. And the cop exited his car and got in the trunk. Got a shotgun out, cocked it back, got in his car and took off up the street. Next thing, I heard some gunshots. Police say three officers got into a confrontation with the suspect. Investigators say at first the man complied with orders, but then as the interaction went on, the person retrieved a gun from their waistband. The officers per perceived that threat. They fired upon the individual. The coroner says the suspect died from multiple gunshot wounds. That's the last thing you want to do. Nobody goes to work at all uh, with the intention of having to use their firearm. But if they're uh, faced with a situation where it's a life and death situation, that certainly that, that's an option. Now, police say the three officers are on administrative leave. CPD will update the investigation tomorrow morning. At this hour, they have not yet identified the suspect. Reporting live in Westwood, Tammy Matassa, WLWT News 5. Tammy, the car crash and the shooting took place a very busy area right there along a corner bordering between Cheviot and Westwood. Yeah, and WLWT News News Emily Wood talked with several people who saw the wreck and then everything leading up to that deadly shooting. Emily. Mike and Sheree, people we talked with, families living in this area, say they've heard about this kind of stuff happening, but they've never seen it this close and in person. According to neighbors, this actually involves two communities because this crash occurred in Westwood, but the man was shot in Cheviot. We were right behind the cops, probably two cars behind them, and then we heard pop, pop, pop. Witnesses say they heard multiple gunshots just moments after this gray pickup truck slammed into the utility pole on Harrison Avenue. Rhonda, who did not want to show her face or share her last name, says she was driving with her son on Harrison when she pulled behind police. It was pretty scary. My son was just silent in the back and he's not really one to be quiet. So he was really kind of scared and with it being so close to the house, it was just like, okay, time to get home and we shook probably, I'm still kind of shaking from it. The crash and crime scene covers both west side communities of Westwood and Cheviot, leaving residents rethinking about where they live. Well, I've never actually seen it myself. I guess I've heard them before and thought they were, I didn't think they were gunshots, thinking they would be louder. So. We've been thinking a lot about getting out of the area. 12 year old Jacob Long lives in Cheviot and was playing video games when he heard the loud noises. He too is worried about his own safety on the streets. It's kind of crazy. Like I, I'm going to be I, I'm going to be really scared to sleep at night now. It's kind of like weird to think that stuff is happening around here. Witnesses also crediting the Cincinnati Police Department and the officers that were out here responding this afternoon saying if this man did in fact have a gun and it was loaded, things could have been much worse. Reporting live tonight in Westwood, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5.